I'm a tropical forest scientist and my interest is in how tropical forests function, how that functioning is being affected by global change and by climate change, and how tropical forests affect the functioning of the planet. Tropical forests are a fascinating ecosystem, and although they've been studied for many years, we don't understand them enough. The flux of CO2 from the, uh, the Amazonian rainforest, for example, will have global implications on the global carbon cycle. Currently the Amazon is absorbing carbon, but if you warm the Amazon beyond some threshold, it stops helping us and actually possibly becomes an accelerator of climate change by releasing carbon into the atmosphere. Our project in Peru is a large transect of study sites that we've set up going all the way from the upper limits of the forest in the Andes at three and a half kilometers above sea level all the way down into the lowland jungles of the Amazon rainforest. And at the top of the transect, the temperature is around 10 degrees. At the bottom, it's around 27 degrees. We're studying what the forest is itself, how it works, how it functions. What we're trying to do with this project is understand plant and forest processes, going all the way from cells to leaves, to twigs, to branches, to trees, to groups of trees, and ultimately to this whole landscape of the Andes. We need to understand both how plant growth and soil decomposition, litter decomposition, how they are related to temperature. Above ground we look at the stem, the leaves, uh, branches, and below ground we are measuring the productivity of roots, but we're also looking at respiration. It's amongst the largest data sets ever collected on tropical ecology and venation and structure. We've been developing these methodologies from a project that stemmed from NERC funding. We're now taking these methodologies and applying them to other forests around the world. This is probably the most exciting project I've ever worked on. The scale that we're working at is phenomenal. The teams that we have from Europe, from North America, from Argentina and from Peru. So it's an incredibly exciting uh, project. One of the major insights has been that the processes of decomposition of organic matter is much more sensitive to temperature than we imagined. And another thing that we found is that tree species are beginning to migrate upslope. In terms of a conservation policy, this highlights how important mountains are as potential refuges in climate change, helping species cope with warming temperatures. Our work will provide quantitative data and information for policymakers. At the international level, our findings will help predict the effect of climate change on tropical rainforests and the effect of the rainforest on climate change. What this information will give us insight into is how much manoeuvring space we have as humanity in our emissions before we start approaching dangerous thresholds of climate change.